So in this video, we're going to be talking about three-digit chopping. So uh, in this example, I'm going to be discussing three-digit chopping, but in general, we're going to be discussing a chopping method. A chopping method is a very simple method. All it does is it just uses the first couple of digits of a term. And then you use the first couple of digits to evaluate instead of evaluating using all the digits of a term. So this question here, we're going to take this as an example question in order to learn how to do this. So we have the question here, use three digit chopping to evaluate. And we're given, uh, we're given some equation here, pi x cubed minus e to the one over x. And then we're told to evaluate using three digit. The first thing we want to do is this question itself is not complete because there needs to be a value for x. Let's say that x was given some value and then we'll say that x is equal to the square root of 5. Okay, so we have everything we need to solve this question now. So the value that I just wrote saying that x is equal to the square root of 5, this value needs to be given in your questions. I didn't make this up. Uh, you can't just calculate this value. This value actually needs to be given to you. Okay, cool. So this question itself is already done for you. All you really need to do is plug into your calculator. But before you do that, the first thing you need to do is you need to go ahead and then you need to simplify each, uh, each term. So here we realistically have one, two, three, four. We have uh, four terms. Or we have, this is the first term, second term, three terms. My apologies, we have three terms here. But how many operations do we have? We have a couple operations. We have multiplication here, and we have division here. We also have another multiplication term right here as well, because you have x cubed. x cubed is, multi is a multiplication term because it's x times x times x. So the best way to solve questions like this is you're going to start off doing a little chart or a I, I, I like to call it the chart method, but you basically need to write out all your terms. So first, we need to go ahead and we need to find what the value of square root of 5 is to three digits. If you, if you do the square root of 5 in your calculator, you're going to get 2.236, whatever, so on, so on. But that's not what we're looking for, because we're looking for the first three digits. So the term you're going to be looking for is actually 2.23 and what we did here is we chopped it we only took the first three digits this is where the chopping term comes in because you chop whatever is after the three digits okay so that's the value of x for the square root of 5 the value of pi we know pi is equal to 3.141592 uh, and so on so on so what we're gonna do is we're gonna do 3.1 one four one five nine two but we're only going to use the first three terms we're going to use only the first three terms of pi here so let's do this here and then we're going to do a little chopping method here the same thing we did above so we chopped it we got the first three digits of it okay that's good we have we have one one term here we have two terms and then Let's go ahead and then we'll take the term for our e to the 1. So if you simply plug in e to the 1 to your calculator, uh, I believe you would get 2.71 something. Uh, let me double check. Yep. So if you plug it into your calculator, what you get is, you get this, 2.71828. But Again, the same, the same rule applies. What you're going to do is you're going to chop, only take the first three digits. The first three digits. Okay, so this is all good. The next thing you need to do is you found all the terms, but now the way chopping works is it concerns with any, um, any multiplication, addition, or division you use. Any operation you use needs to be chopped. So let's... The first thing we want to do is we want to get x times x. You can't just jump straight into x cubed 
What you need to do first is you need to do your operation for x times x. If you do x times x, you're going to get x times x. You're going to get uh, the square root of 5 that you used. But then you're not going to use the square root of 5. Instead, what you're going to do is you're going to use your chop, your chop number that you got. So 2.26 times 2.26. And then you're going to get a value here if you do that. Oops, uh, that should be 2.23. So you would essentially just go ahead and you would multiply 2.23 times 2.23 and then you would get a value of 4.9729 and then what you want to do is you want to go ahead and chop this so we get 4.97. Okay, so we get 4.97 but that doesn't give us x cubed. So right now we're at x squared so all you do is you do uh, you're just going to do the value you calculated here and then you're going to multiply this value by your chopped value again so 4.97 times your 2.23 and then you're going to get if you plug it into your calculator you're going to get 11 point zero eleven point zero eight three one and then you're gonna need to chop this into three digits and what you're gonna get is just eleven point zero okay so that's good we have a couple terms here we we have our pi term let me go ahead and fix this. We have our pi term. Okay, that's no issue. We have our x cubed. We have our e to the 1. We have our x. But we don't have the operation of e to the 1 over x. So this is technically like the fifth step if you want to think about it. You want to do e to the 1 over x, but you want to use your rounded, uh, your chopping terms that you got. So we said e to the 1. It was 2.71 for our chopping term. And then x we talked about was 2.23. So if you go ahead and you plug that into your calculator, 2.71 divide 2.23, you're going to get a value here of 6.03, uh, so on, so on. But we're going to go ahead and only take the first three terms. OK, so everything here is complete. We, have, uh, we know pi is 3.14. And then we know we got the value of x cubed. Uh, we got this here, this term. So all we need to do is we need to go ahead and write, write this into another term. So if we go ahead and we write the whole thing, we're going to get uh, 3.14 times our value of x cubed, 11.0 minus e to the 1 we said was 2.71 it was 2.71 and then all this is over our value of x and we're for each operation or each term we're doing here we're using our chopping value and then just go ahead and evaluate this uh, like you would normally do so let's do 3.14 times 11 and then if you do 3.14 times 11, you're going to get 34.54. And then for the other term, you would get 2.71 over 2.23. And then what you're going to get here is you're going to get a value of 1.215. To, and it keeps going on and this one uh, I think this one ended here the for our 3.14 times 11 so okay so this looks pretty good but it doesn't correspond with our question because our question said use three digit chopping and you can see here that these aren't three terms 
This simply equals 34.5 minus 1.21 because we need to use the first three terms here as well. So then if we do that, if you simply just go ahead and now you plug this into your calculator, if we went ahead and we chopped it, we're going to get 33.29. And then 33.29, you need to go ahead and you need to chop this as well. And then if you go ahead and chop it, you're going to get a final answer of 33.2. And 33.2 is going to be your answer here. So using three-digit chopping to evaluate this, we would get an answer of 33.2. So that basically concludes uh, what the answer is if you're using three-digit chopping. But sometimes your professor might ask you to calculate the true value. The true value is simply the real value you would get if you were to... So let's say... Uh, your real value minus your approximation over your real. So when I'm saying your real value in this case, I mean if you were to actually go ahead and evaluate this. If you were to evaluate this itself, you would do the square root of 5 times, or sorry, you would do, you would simply do pi times the square root of 5 cubed minus e to the 1 over the square root of 5 and then you would get an answer something like this you would get 33.9084212107 and then your approximate value is the one you used using your chopping so Basically, you use three-digit chopping, and then you calculate an approximate value here. This isn't the right answer. It's pretty close to it. If you're trying to calculate the difference between your true answer and your approximation that you got using your method, you would simply use this formula here. And then you would, if you want it in terms of percent, you would just multiply this whole thing by 100%. And then if you, you simply just go ahead and plug this into your calculator. If I were to plug 33.9084217 minus 33.2, and then same thing for the denominator, just go ahead and plug that value. If you multiply it, you're going to see that you're going to get an error of 2%, 2.089%. And there you have it. This is your true error for uh, three-digit chopping. If you were asked to calculate your true, uh, what is your true value of error? So this uh, this concludes this video. If you have any questions regarding uh, the video, please make sure to leave a comment. If you enjoyed it, please leave a like. Uh, subscribe to the channel if you want to see more videos. If you want to check out more numerical videos, my channel contains a couple numerical numerical method videos. And I'm planning on uploading more in the future, so just please stay tuned.